Senator Racina, there has been a, an ongoing issue in Oklahoma in the legislature for the past several years dealing with the way the state regulates um, certified nurse anesthetists. Um, we've had legislation get introduced, make it to a certain point, and then stall out. What's different this year? Why did this bill go? I think the big thing is um, people saw that we, we, this was a necessity in the state of Oklahoma. Um, I think especially in rural parts of the state um, where there's some um, health deserts, if you want to call it that, where people weren't being treated or where there was, uh, it, would, it, it impacted people. Uh, and the other thing I would say is it's probably something that's common in the state already and just has not been legislated. And I think this year people just got together and said, hey, you know what, for the better, betterment of the state of Oklahoma, uh, we need to get this fixed and we need to move on from it and, and try to tackle bigger issues. So going from a, a statutory um, statement saying that it will be a supervisory relationship to one of collaboration, that's not an uncommon situation as far as regulation in the rest of the country, correct? No. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, the majority of states have this kind of language already. Um, and for me, as a, as a military member, the military already does it too. Um, so that was, a, that was a big push for me. Um, and I think that um, uh, physicians and CRNAs are going to still continue to collaborate. They're still going to work together and we're going to make sure that our health outcomes are just as important as they were yesterday when the word supervisory was there.